December the 20th, 2019, it is. Today is a Friday, and by American with whom I was here, he gestured me. If you don't have a business going by now, you can now go ahead and you can proceed to close down your company and sell your car. Basically, this is how it is. The chickens, the eggs are all counted for. Uh, it's going exactly according to MK Ultra scenario. This is just a real thing. You have no idea. Okay, but anyhow, this is not what I am here to talk to you about this time. This time, I'm, talk I'm here to talk to you about the same case was with Prince Andrew over there in Britain. Uh, he pulled his pedophilia case when I released an important news. It is now that seems like U.S. Democrats have pulled along with the Republicans their trick, according to Lindsey Graham, if I would see the news like this one here, Lindsey Graham, the gentleman Lindsey Graham was involved in this stuff. Um, you may want to see yourself this video here. Graham on Senate impeachment trial, Trump demands his day in court. assumption was that impeachment would sell with the American people. It's fallen apart. They have no case. And now they don't know what to do next. And this is a political stunt that's very dangerous. So I just met with the president, and he is demanding to stay in court. Every American in June... Okay. Uh, number one, Mr. Lindsey Graham. Again, this is Trump demands his day in court. Gesture me that if things are not going to go well and this and that, then the only thing you're going to see is exactly the video like this. Me standing in front of the White House and da 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 What exactly that relates to, it relates to this news here. It's called President Trump impeaching historic vote by sharply divided houses. This, this was the news that was, you can see the results for yourself of his impeachment probe, you can get an idea about yourself, what happened. Uh, what is said, Democratic 280, whatever, 218, yes. The yeas and are 230, the nays are 197, present is one, article one is adopted. Why should we care? Okay, I'm gonna explain to you why we should. We go back to this news here, right? Okay. Um, this is the stuff. Lindsay, who was involved in MK Ultra from the beginning, I was in his town. There was a lot of stuff that went on just like in Poland. This stuff is foremost is related to cover up my case again, the same as if they if it doesn't exist something that would trigger attention to the people when i release the news they will pull something even from the past like andrew did even if it's related to pedophilia it doesn't matter whatever it is at his expense whatever it is it doesn't matter as long as this case gets hushed lindsey graham told me at your best case if you ever will you will reach a settlement financial settlement but the truth about you will never ever come out no matter what uh and so he was right here in this place he's a good friend of the neighbor right there involved in this case from beginning to the end this time what they would do is they would pull if you see me see uh, with this news like this in front of the white house and this and that it's over for you or what exactly this is, how did he actually interpret it to me, this news. Uh, this actually would be something to do with the Democrats that would be, most of them would be fooled into a trap, uh, going for impeachment that would not uh, fit the proper um, procedure of impeachment. And therefore, the only thing that would happen is they would open the wound 
that would uh, rather than get him arrested uh, rather than take him out of the white house as a criminal is what trump is they would start some kind of impeachment procedure which over time would actually even prove uh to be not credible to be illegitimate and it would be actually used to release donald trump of everything basically making him a saint to some kind of schizophrenic views to the real real schizophrenia uh, if you look at the results of impeachment you're going to see that all of a sudden you have all democrats voting for impeachment and you have all of a sudden all republicans voting for uh, against uh, impeachment for Donald Trump that is completely schizophrenic stuff I am completely certain that there must be some Democrats that we were able to witness they sided with the Trump and there must be some Republicans that turned against Donald Trump but in this case we have some kind of a schizophrenic result out of that result that every one of you should not even believe to special or not because they are already suggesting that the formal, uh, the official, the proper procedure, the protocol was not followed in this case. This is one of the things. So what they're doing is they're again opening some kind of a schizophrenic environment, the introduction of some kind of crazy element that is going to guide people uh, into dividing themselves into, again, into their views into against something new because it seems to me like the psycho psych psychologically evaluating average American uh, thinking process. It's not only American. Okay, I just spend a lot of time in the U.S. I'm a U.S. citizen, uh, and that's a scary part that I'm a U.S. citizen. It's a scary shit because I see this is not Orwellian anymore. This is not even Orwellian government, folks. This is like. Soviet Union or Venelite or Venelite or or Valianized on a global level it's scary it's scary as shit the stuff that I see is this no longer re refrains to the Soviet Union alone what they were doing with the people inside of the Soviet Union uh, but it's actually like United States of America it's like Soviet Union became a Soviet Union uh, is expanded to the Soviet Union level on a global scale and is now doing people on in other parts of the world their own citizens in fact people who became their own citizens just to be treated like a slaves like a adult uh, toys basically N not even like a human beings as you can do basically with them whatever the hell you want it's like you would put person I feel like I would be inside of the aquarium like I would be inside of the water where they harvest one with a fish and uh, I would be only allowed to swim in a certain element uh, till I'm basically taken out. I don't feel like a human being, honest to God, no more about this all, this, this whole crazy thing as it is. And so, and no surprise that when I did release this news, this kind of a news popped up that is, in my eyes, in my view, this is, you know, when, when we are always searching like i said I, I spend a lot of time in the u.s it's really it's not american we are all looking for something new to learn every day but the thing about this here is what we are learning now is that much more important than just searching for old news actually that the republican party is a democrat party because to me this is what it looks like when the result like this comes out it's like a completely extreme stuff and it's exactly the kind of scenario, the psychology that was used to get Donald Trump through elections. This is how Donald Trump became elected. Do you remember elections, how that schizophrenic shit was that? It was like, just like this, like this, that he win. In one part he lost, but in another one somehow he win, and this and that, and they did not count, and this and that. Do you remember what kind of elections we have? We have, this, again, the same shit like we had through elections. There is only one thing according to Lindsey Graham alone is going to happen. When he said, when you see me like this, with the news like this in front of the White House, it's too late for you. It's over for you. Meaning that Democrats started through a schizophrenia game. S along with the Republicans, because these are one party. This is, this is, 
there are only people inside that don't know what's going on there is a fraction of people that lead this game and then there's a fraction of people a big fraction of people that don't even know the game and there's just a few old dogs that know the whole game and they are running this scenario and you have other people falling for the trap that they don't even know what the hell is going on they think they're actually doing something good and they're falling in your trap according to Lindsey Graham this is going to lead into a real crisis they started the procedure that is completely illegitimate uh, it's not followed by the proper protocol and it's going to lead into total chaos decay from which Donald Trump is going to emerge as an ultimate winner and no wonder yesterday I have released extremely important news and I'm about to release another one as soon as I release this thing here this is the always they hurry up when I release news to cover up with some kind of schizophrenic response over there from the US and that's what is fucking scary to me that this is not I'm not even a Russian citizen you know that I am a US citizen I'm from Slovenia from where Melania is and if just this morning I was saying to myself the new message from the US government to the world is basically is that ugly is beautiful they, their message to the world is that the worst is good because if the Soviet Union looked bad I can tell you today the Soviet Union the idea about the Soviet Union <clears throat> when you think about the Soviet Union no longer in my eyes in my view on my horizon the way I see it hell I would not go and settle for that uh, but it seems to me that there are people out there that they would want this idea of perception about the Soviet Union they would want to make one appealing to me uh, that they are trying to make one appealing to the world through this kind of projection through this kind of uh, conduct like this because can you imagine to take somebody from someone 25 years of life uh, and rather to admit what you have done rather to deal with the consequences publicly rather to get individual arrested remove him away they would continue with some kind of schizophrenic stuff like this that they don't see you and the only thing that happens is they cover your news with their news and so on they just blend they just throw the shit on top of your proofs basically this is not a news these are just a fact some stressing about the torture right here in Poland that took place when brought here from the US for no less than 20 21 consecutive years here from the US this is just a lot of time 21 years almost 23 years and the only thing you get the only response you get to get this not even the Stalin did the stuff like this and I know that there might be people like Obama there might be people like who believe actually that communism socialism is the way to go that this was okay that Soviet Union was not so bad after all well compared to the shit that we see now really was not bad but other than that I have to warn you folks it was not good it was really really bad and to get one look good you just have to do the shit like the US government does today this is how sad the whole thing is it's pathetic it's sad it's pitiful uh, it does make ugly bad looks good the worst of the worst makes it look good and so I'm afraid that you have this few dogs that count that know the scenario about the whole thing the roads they have designed I'm afraid that you have these people actually uh, you know guiding others through different kinds of issues you have certain elements within the government uh, you know there is a power in even in divided governments you might have a people with completely different views on things but if you know their views if you're very well familiarized with their news and you have ability to actually guide them you would be surprised how possible actually is to unite the people under different lives under different kind of issues in direction that you want to guide
So I just gave you right now an example on how uh, the Nazis, American Nazis that loved Soviet Union because the Soviet Union was actually used for them to merge out of shadow and actually step on a stage under Donald Trump just 70 years later, 60 years later, not even 70. They didn't waste no time, man. In the shadow of the Soviet Union in the United States of America, there was a war. There was a war that was waged by the Nazis against the society, against American society. The Soviet Union, the only thing they did is they closed themselves inside of their element. They didn't care nothing about what went on on the other side of the ocean. And before you know, the people that fought for us in Eastern Europe, Americans, they were marginalized. Their ideas were destroyed. Uh, it's all kinds of crime they took against Chicago, Detroit, and so on. They turned they turned those cities into dumpsters. They destroyed a lot of beautiful cities, a lot of beautiful communities. They dirtened them, they dumped them. They, 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 uh, they congested them with a crime, basically. Proving their own way, you know, proving basically their own way. And so Soviet Union was really, really beneficial. I'm just saying this for the people like Obama. I'm just saying this for the people like... You know, other people that are pro-socialist, they're pro-communist. And I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying that you're not a beautiful people. This is not what the hell I'm saying. I'm saying that you have to stay strong and your vision have to stay clear. That you're not going to go and you're going to blend yourself with, you know, uh, with, with idea about something that you see right now that you have seen i know that your lives in e in us for many of you were not easy i know that that it's a difficult society that that it's all kinds of issues you alone discrimination racism that you faced but this is a long battle and this battle can only be won by people being united from both sides of the ocean is basically how i feel about this stuff it's got to be the community that brings the people together uh, clearly with idea to support one another when when it's needed so and so opposite from Joseph Stalin I think that our world have to stay open for you give you the opportunity to stand somewhere with on your with your feet on a firm floor on a, on, on a ground where you can actually um, you know you're not going to be destroyed. You're not going to be basically stabbed from behind like this is the case in the U.S. Um, it's a very, very important stuff that I learned about all this game. This is a global game. It's if you want to be if you want to be a player, you have to be a player on a global scale. You have to create conditions, preconditions that will allow people that you know support the rule of democracy, law uh, to actually exist. Because, you know, otherwise, people like it or not, even if they don't like it, they have to follow the rules of uh, those that dictate them. And we have seen the dictatorship of Donald Trump, how it goes. There was a whole bunch of people that died this year, last year. It was only funeral after funeral. Hollywood funerals is what basically most is what we witnessed. And so... I call you all, folks, to open your eyes and concern yourself rather with... It seems to me, this morning I thought about, look, man, this is no longer even about economy. This is no longer, you know, it was like that civil rights issues were covered with economic issues. Lies, I should say. No, who the hell is Donald Trump good for? What is this 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 good for? What kind of economy are you talking about here? Shooting Mexicans in legs. This kind of ideas. What the hell is this good for? Who the hell is this good for? Whom the hell is this good for? This this kind of economy. This this isn't really good for anyone. I think. <clears throat> not in the north, not in the south of the Rio Grande. It's good. It's not good for anybody. This kind of stuff. This is this is firmly leading into the World War III conflict. So don't allow, don't allow the news that covered social rights issues, 
human rights issues in the U.S., so-called economic news, to be now replaced with some kind of a schizophrenic news from Republicans and Democrats. Do not allow this kind of news, this kind of stuff to go on to cover what you see here. And I'm doing this, I'm recording, I'm fighting for my own life already for 25 years now. This is shitty, shitty beyond believable. In a Soviet Union, something like this, uh, this is like a scorn, literally, for the human life, from what I see, basically. That you would have individuals that would prove that this thing would go on, and you would have somebody over there uh, inside of the White House literally expressing contempt. The only thing he does is, as you were able to see, he goes back on a stage and the only thing he does is he spits in a, in, a, in a people's faces more insults because he knows that he's completely immune from the law. Because he knows that what goes on today in the U.S. Congress is nothing more than a schizophrenia. This is an advanced schizophrenia is what we witness. Stop taking this schizophrenia, folks. Stop taking pills for the schizophrenia. You are becoming sicker and sicker and sick. Distance yourself out and ask this U.S. Congress, this Republican and Democrat Party, ask them about this case. Why is it they do not address someone who is complaining about the human rights being deprived of already for like 25 years? Why the hell is it that these people blocked me already for 20? When are they going to ask directly a question? Because I'm not going to believe any of this impeachments and stuff like this, especially not the kind of impeachments like Lindsey Graham alone have gestured. It was done deliberately in a such a way so that Donald Trump could, could merge out victoriously, basically. Can you imagine you do the impeachment and it doesn't matter. People don't even know. It's so Orwellian. The people don't even know what exactly was this abuse of power, this and that. Of course, it, it is abuse of power, but they did not cite any kind of specific, any case. They never mentioned this case here. They never mentioned this case here. I don't know even what they have mentioned. What, what have they mentioned? This is so Orwellian, so crazy stuff. Do not allow, do not allow this kind of, this kind of Orwellian game to cluster reality. The reality is already so modified, it's already so manipulated, the whole thing is, it's, most of the stuff that's happening, we don't even know that's happening, what goes on about the world. You see me, you saw many of my videos, you know what is going on, and this is just yet another news that is going to be used. Actually, do not allow for Donald Trump to merge out of all the crimes he committed as a winner because of the improperly because of the improper procedure of impeachment because of the improper process because of the improper because of not following protocol properly no there was such a thing that mrs pelosi um I sincerely hope that that is the truth. She did gesture to me that what they're going to do is, because he fucked with you, this is what she said to me like this, what we're going to do, we're going to do it also so Orwellian that it's going to squeeze the life out of him too. It was like this, but I'm scared of the scenario when I see on one side only Democrats voting for this, on the other side only Republicans voting against I'm scared of the scenarios of this because, you know, I, I refuse to believe in schizophrenia. I, I believe in a normal people. And I believe that if we have a government, and I'm certain that there are normal people on both sides, and in Democrat and in Republican lines. And so this is for me a really, really scary, scary, scary outcome. Donald Trump alone suggested under MKUltra, I'm not done. He was pretty sure he would be already done by now, and he still is not done. Anyhow, I would not be done if it would, it would be something like if Republicans would be all uh, against impeachment and Democrats would be all for impeachment. So these are what I remember is the stuff that I remember that actually confirms the description of MKUltra now that Donald Trump knew 
the scenario of Mrs. Pelosi uh, that she's gonna start to fuck with him like this because you see I got the news from her about what how, what they gonna do is there's a possibility that um, that he got the news about what Democrats what they gonna do about this stuff but still it confirms that there's this Republican side that actually that percentage wise the logic wise when you analyze it's a higher possibility they are all in it together in a game than what Mrs. Pelosi suggested. It's because you have entire Republican Party doing this kind of stuff. And it can be, like I said, it can be divided like this. It can be like this. It could be like this and it could be like that. Why the hell would people see themselves divided so much as the Democrats, as the Republicans, like never before like this? It will be like saying that Republicans are fascists, all Republicans are fascists, all Republicans are neo-Nazis. It's not true. You have a normal, you have a good Republicans too. You have Republicans that are in game because they, because of other issues they believe in it. But in this case, in this schizophrenic outcome of this impeachment, I am just, I'm going to say, rather than I would stay like neutral, that, that I would just be like, don't know what to think i actually will take my side and i'm gonna say the it doesn't matter which way it is uh if it's improper it's improper and as long as i don't hear this case this is the biggest emergency it took i lost 25 years of life because of one till i hear actually something about talking about this case addressing this criminal over there in the white house is fascist with this issue here he had his son here nest children, a bunch of children. He had here a bunch of children here in Poland, just like his daddy did over there in the U.S. with many women. I don't have a single one. I don't have a family at age 48 that some fascist neo-Nazi is going to come here and is going to nest his family, his children all over the place. And I'm not going to have nothing here I have in this world, basically. Uh, look. This is a little, little kind of different situation uh, that, uh, you know, that you maybe expected I'm just going to go and settle for something like this. I'm going to see myself in, uh, you know, in some kind of, uh, in kind of, some kind of schizophrenic game like this. I'm going to be taking some kind of polarized views like this. Democrats are good, Republicans are bad, and this and that. When I think about all this news, it's all synchronized. Uh, with the main dogs and I'm afraid that people on both sides don't know really what is going on you should think about one thing this is emergency this is a stuff that should be addressed uh, there's life of somebody like myself is not worth it to jeopardize even for a single second for the sake of a criminal you have inside of the White House for the sake of the fascist inside of the White House it never was as sad as it is today basically what we see Poland and Ukraine must take their own side they must take their own uh, future in hands they must not allow to become some kind of casualty of of the failed Soviet Union that kind of stuff can never repeat for the both countries again this is just this was just a disaster and it's important for the people on the other side of the ocean to to acknowledge this uh, to give us the opportunity here to start something productive, uh, something that is going to help democracy in this world, rather than, uh, you know, to yet another failure. Uh, if you would combine the whole, if you would assemble the whole Soviet Union together again, like they suggested, they insisted to me in the U.S., uh, that thing would not do any good. That thing, that thing, basically, that thing was a failure once. Uh, and it was uh, so awkward the whole thing it was so so awkward it was so clumsy that thanks to that thing we 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 have seen the total destabilization of the world it was nothing else than united the weakness of this eastern european nations that's all it was about this soviet union all right so i call the people you know the people the, the real democrats that you want to help bring this news out and start doing something don't believe in this kind of impeachments and this and that. This news is also related to this news here. This is also yet related to this one here. 
that I want to mention to you also is also I was told this what's going to happen out of all this they told me nothing is what's going to happen out of all this it's going to happen that they all going to merge again together and they will continue they will continue with their it's totally with this news here they have suggested for Donald Trump the same thing that they're going to test him they're going to see how he's going to how he's going to act when he's going to be under pressure if he's going to pass this pressure test if he's going to pass that stuff that's what's going to happen is republicans and democrats both are going to authorize his dictatorship because this is what the next level for the u.s is coming and now you have a news here why the queen was not wearing a crown during the state opening parliament she too has to now i understand demonstrate at the parliament that she is also uh nothing special that she is just doing her duties and stuff like this like donald trump and that she will obey the rule of law and stuff like this and if that kind of attitude uh would satisfy then the <laughs> if you want to call this a safety requirements or maybe um you know so that they would feel safe to authorize her basically to give her full power to do uh, basically <laughs> this news is actually related to neo-nazi news global imperialism news and it looks like the whole thing is actually moving in that direction that's just what i'm trying to say with the donald trump with the queen and with the putin we have elements that unite over there and what we're going to see most likely is going to be a global neo-nazi conquest so for those normal democrats that are dreaming about all kinds of stuff for the change the reality would be something that would go probably better along your coffee i have to do some tough decisions again uh as i have suggested there's all kinds of stuff that goes on uh, well, maybe you should too. I don't know how tough for you reality is, how tough for you is the, to make a decisions, real decisions, uh, but you could save yourself a life with this. Uh, it could be actually a lifesaver for you and your family taking the right decision, okay? So I called you uh, at that morning coffee that maybe it's time to discuss these things with one another. And despite the scenarios, despite the brainwashes, Despite whatever they have instilled in your heads to see it, whichever way they want you to see it, maybe you should just do the right thing. Call the United States people, Americans, real Americans, to stand up against this dictatorship as much as they can. I don't care. Go out there, protest, express yourself, be seen, be your voice heard on the streets. If they don't want to represent you, whatever it is, this shit have gone too far. This is, this is going too far. Whatever news I release, it's going to be something like this they're going, to, they're going to continue to come up with. I'm sure every time I'm going to do it, it's going to be something else they're going to load. So before I'm going to release the next, next news, I said to myself, let's go with this video. Let's, let's explain about this kind of video today, what this is going to be. Yeah, they have agenda totally preloaded, totally programmed. And I'm afraid this kind of agenda would not be possible with one uh party only uh, unless you would join republican and democrats into one this is scary stuff that goes on no this is not orwellian this is this is this is a derision for the genocide this is what this is just a step upwards from the soviet union and it's on a global scale